guys today we have the box office update for Joker. Um of course the movie Joker. Um, you know. It's actually at number fourth. The good ride is completely the story is how it ends was on a day by day, so obviously the good ride is gonna have good legs on, you know, as well. But Joker is the movie we're gonna be really talking about, not Good Wire. Um And here we go. Um this is the numbers, so it is four hundred forty five thousand, which will mean Joker will only goes to eight to nine million this week, which is pretty, you know, all right. It will, it's pretty all right that you know it's pretty great for a movie and like and like it's eighth it's in its eighth seventh week already, so it's doing pretty well despite being its seventh week. So of course we gotta have these comparisons, of course, you know. I must do the same comparisons as they always do, so Aquaman, you know, is one of the best and easiest comparisons, okay? You know, Batman v Superman. And the thing is, these are good comparisons because they're both DC movies. They're both other, the same types of, types of, types of movies. So, Joker is approximately 1.2 million behind Aquaman and definitely, you know, Four million behind Batman v Superman, but it is set out to Batman v Superman three hundred by three hundred thousand dollars. And you know, if they both can sell Kateri similarly, um Aquaman that was been a holiday, so you know of course on Friday, Joker and Aquaman will definitely catch up to Batman v Superman. Possibly Joker be will surpass Batman v Superman by the end of next week. Another movie that is pretty great to comparison to is Alice in the Wonderland. Okay. We're now getting to the point where we get we have basically just I basically just accepted that Joker's not gonna pass fifty million dollars. So Joker's also behind one point two million behind Alice in the Wonderland. Um and the next movie is Spider Man Free. Um Spider Man Free, of course, you know. Spider-Man 3 is at $346 million, okay, you know, um, Hunger Games, yeah, so Hunger Games is the only movie ahead of Joker, it's only ahead by 40000 so, these, these two movies are doing pretty similar at the box office by Hunger Games having a bigger opening than Joker, okay, and the fact that these two movies are so close, okay, at the box office, you know, they're so close in terms of sales. If Joker out with sales, you know, Hunger Games will probably, you know, be ahead of the movie. Lifetime, and we're not in, you know, we don't have like a few weeks left of tracking Joker's sales, okay, we only have a few weeks left. Okay, we get, I can't wait to see how it does throughout Thanksgiving, which of course is pretty, pretty important Thanksgiving week. You know, Hunger Games, Boxing Day, and Joker is, you know, here you know, and it's currently around, you know, right behind Aquaman at the current moment. Um, and behind, you know, Alice in the Wonderland. So these are all movies that Joker is behind. Every it is about to surpass Suicide Squad domestically, which goes to three hundred twenty-five million. But that's gonna be by next week. So Joker, as we all know, passed three hundred million. That was around three weeks ago. And now it's about to pass, you know. It may be passing Aquaman pretty soon, and you know, I was in the Wonderland, and by be soon passing Batman plus Superman as well. <laughs> so basically, once you know, passes Batman v Superman, we can't, we're not going really to use these and Aquaman and uh, and I was in the Wonderland as comparisons once they pass it. So we're we'll between Spider Man 3 and Hunger Games Market Day Part 1 and Joker, <clears throat> and that's basically about Joker's box office. Goodbye.